Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about the differential equations book that I used for a course when I took differential equations. The book is Fundamentals of Differential Equations and Boundary Value Problems. Now, this is like an extended version. It has the extra boundary value problems. I'm pretty sure you can just get the regular one that doesn't have the extra uh, sections. The authors are Nagel, Saf, and Snyder. Let's take a look inside this book. So this is the table of contents. It starts off with an introduction, talks about direction fields. They do a pretty good job of uh, explaining direction fields. I've actually read this book. I've read that section. And here we talk about first order differential equations. Very, very standard stuff. Let's turn the page. Talks about some mathematical models. Linear second order equations. So. It's only second order in this uh, chapter, so only order two. Uh, it's a little bit different from other books. The book that uh, I use to teach differential equations uh, does second order and higher order all in the same chapter, right? So it's a little bit different. Some more stuff here. Let's turn the page. See, here he does higher order, or they do higher order, right? So chapter 6, which is kind of interesting. Uh, so they do variation of parameters here as well. Annihilator, undetermined coefficients. Laplace transforms. This book is really good uh, for Laplace transforms. Um, it's really, really comprehensive. Uh, it's got some really good exercises uh, as well, I think. I've made a lot of videos uh, from this book uh, on my uh, differential equations playlist. A lot of the problems uh, came from this book. Then series solutions. The book actually has some pretty good examples here too, uh, even some harder ones in the text. Uh, the authors do not hold back uh, when it comes to difficulty level. Then matrix methods. And then partial differential equations. See, I don't know if this stuff is included uh, in the regular one. This is the and boundary value problem. So I think this one has extra stuff. I haven't looked at any of these sections here, so I'll go a little bit quickly. Actually, I have looked at Picard's existence and uniqueness theorem, so I take that back. I remember reading that a long time ago. All right, let's go further inside this book. So the book reads really, really well. Uh, it's a pretty good math book. Um, of course, you have to sit down and you know really try hard, uh, but it's a pretty good book. You know, if if you're trying to learn some differential equations on your own, uh, you can probably get an old copy of this book for only a few dollars. So I'd recommend this book and maybe some other ones uh, as well. Uh, but this one is pretty good and it's pretty comprehensive. Uh, I did a review on a complex analysis book, and I'm pretty sure it's the same authors, uh, Nagel, Saf, and Snyder. So. They wrote this book, and they wrote a complex variables book uh, as well. If you check my playlist uh, under my book review playlist, you'll see it there. Yeah, it's a good book. It uh, reads pretty well. Uh, the exercises in this book, let's, let's fast forward here, are actually extremely good. Um, there's a lot of exercises, and the difficulty ranges from easy to medium to actually hard. Like, the author does put some harder problems in some of the sections, so that is kind of refreshing to see. So if you're looking for more challenging problems, um, you can find some of them uh, in this textbook. So again, the book is uh, Fundamentals of Differential Equations and Boundary Value Problems, and the authors are Nagel, Saf, and Snyder. It's a pretty good DE book and uh, definitely worth having if you're trying to learn some differential equations. That's it.